Yo, yo, what up guys? As you can tell by the title, we're gonna go out, rip on the car. Hopefully this is a really good video. Sorry, I'm in the dark. There we go. Um, been wanting to make this video for a minute. I uh, tried to make it this weekend. We had family come down to see the baby, so we were busy doing family stuff and taking them around Virginia Beach and this, that, and the third. So tonight, got the roommate here. Um, she's gonna watch the baby. We're gonna go out. I need to make sure I can connect the GoPro to the front of the car. Like my GoPro, I keep it up on my visor because it has the clip. I'm thinking I can just clip it right here into my grill. The one of these spots. I don't really, really want to put the suction cup on, but I will if I have to. But we'll see if it clips right on there. I'm going to bring her with me. She's going to use this camera to record uh, some drive-bys. And then hopefully I can talk her into doing a lap with me in a passenger seat on this camera. So really, really want to see how these uh, new ball joints act out there on this little road course but I'm fingers super crossed that there's no cars active out there usually I like to go on the weekend because there's all the business are closed um, like office buildings so really hope that they're gone at least by the time we get there it's a little bit near seven o'clock at night so fingers crossed no one's there we can get some uh, some fun laps down all right boys do a launch control we're gonna do a lap here What do you guys think about that? Hopefully the clips from uh, on the front of the car are really good. And I had her stand out a couple spots, did some flybys. I mean, this isn't like autocross at all or a road course for that matter, but I do get up to a pretty decent speed. Excuse me. <sighs> and uh, some pretty tight braking, some kind of tight-ish corners for the speed that you're at. And I can definitely tell a difference with the ball joints. It really is keeping the car I don't know I, don't, I wish I knew the better word and I wouldn't say just stable but it's more 
it's more flat it's not so like bindish in a way um, especially over bumps I wouldn't I don't know if that's I guess a bumpy would be kind of like referring to bump steer but it feels a lot better um, the real test will be at autocross to see if the front end acts funny because it, it, it used to at least in my golf R, uh, like going into a tight turn let's say it more than like I don't know a 45 degree ish turn around the cone at a like moderate speed like coming in hot slowing down and then trying to get on the gas a little bit to get around a turn the front end would just kind of like not want to work right and I think that this will help eliminate that um, well, I mean, we'll find out we're just less, just under two weeks away from autocross. So, it should be really exciting. I can't freaking wait. Every day I'm thinking about it. Tomorrow our diffuser comes in, and then next week our uh, steering wheel comes in. So, after that we just need some braking upgrades, maybe some bracing, and the car should be good for the season. Um, I think that's all I got. Should be it pretty short video hopefully you guys got some decent intake sounds from the racing line intake shout out to them for making super dope products for our cars you guys know we love racing line and we love 034 here of course Verkline. really can't wait to get the Verkline stuff on too so um stay tuned for the upcoming diffuser video and the steering wheel and autocross and the rear end and whatever the hell else we can get our hands into this season thanks for watching guys i'll catch you on the flip flop